Today we're going to show you how to install the GPRV 125 watt kit from GoPower. Once you have the panel out, make sure you have everything in your install kit. Your installation manual, your PWM25, your mounting hardware, and 50 feet of cable. In the mounting hardware kit bags, you're getting the Z bracket, which is used to attach to the uh, frame of the panel and go to the roof of the RV. We have all the insulation hardware to attach to the frame of the panel. And we'll see the black expansion plugs, which are used when installing to a fiberglass roof. Here we're showing you installing the, one of the Z brackets to the frame of the panel. We're using our quarter inch hardware. You'll need a two 5 16 wrenches or a 5 16 socket and wrench. Now that we got our four mounting hardware brackets on, we're going to bring the panel up onto the roof of the RV. The 125 watt panel has quick connects on it, but we're going to take the junction box off to show you the positive and negative where you may have to hook up a different type of panel if it didn't have these quick connects. But as you can see, we got a male and female. One's positive, the male, and the female is a negative. Now that we've selected a good spot on the roof that's not going to be shaded by an air conditioner or anything, we're uh, going to put the panel down and get ready to uh, put our adhesive under the brackets. We're using die core sealant because this is a rubber roof. Once we have a liberal amount of die core underneath each bracket, we set the panel down. Because we're installing this panel on a rubber roof and not on a fiberglass roof, we will not be using the expansion plugs that come with the kit. Instead, we have selected some one inch long wood screws to go through the rubber roof into the plywood. These screws are not included in the kit. After we've installed all four wood screws, we apply a healthy amount of die core sealant over top of the entire bracket. We make sure to apply this die core to all four brackets. In most cases, we're going to bring the panel wiring down through the fridge vent because uh, it'll be our easiest route to get the wires down to the regulator. Um, if the roof vents in a slide out, you may have to find an ulterior way of getting it down through the roof, whether you drill in or you use a sewer vent. The kit's going to come with 150 foot length of cable with a male on one end and a female on the other. So we're just going to cut that cable perfectly in half. What we've done here is matched up the male and female end, gone to the other end of the cable and cut it so the exact same length. Here we're going to cut the grate on the fridge vent to allow us to bring the cable down. Then we're taping our two ends together so our cable stays together as we drop it down the fridge vent. So we'll feed all of the cable down through the fridge vent. And on the 125, because we have our quick connects, we'll just match up the male to a female, the female to the male. If this was an installation where we have to go through the junction box, we'll actually need, we'd already have the wires hooked into the junction box. Now we're just opening the fridge cover to make sure that none of the wires are hooked into uh, any of the fridge components. In the install manual, there's a cutout to make a template. You can make this out of cardboard or you can make it out of wood like we did. 
we decided to install the regulator centered above the fridge so this is just us measuring to find center and now we're using our template uh, just to outline where we're going to cut our hole what we're doing here is just drilling holes in each corner of our uh, outline and that's going to allow for us to uh, saw along the straight lines with our jigsaw now that we've cut the hole for our regulator we're just going to fish the two wires that we dropped down the fridge vent we're going to pull them out of the hole and then we're going to cut both wires in half so we have a positive and negative coming from the solar and a positive and negative going down to the battery using our wire strippers we now strip to the cables now that we strip the leads for the solar panel we are going to test to see uh, that we have the correct polarity so we've tested with the meter we got a positive reading keep in mind we are in a shop right now so we're only getting 10 volts uh, outdoors you'll get around 20 volts so we saw the lead that we were using, the positive lead, was giving us a normal reading. So it's getting marked as the positive cable coming from the solar. Now we're going to take our leads, our positive and negative, for the solar panel and hook them to the regulator. As you can see, they're clearly marked on the back of the GPPWM25. Keep in mind, because we're in the shop, there's no real power coming from the solar panel, so it's fine to hook the solar panel up first. If you are doing this outdoors, you're best to hook up the batteries first. To determine which wire is going to be our positive wire going to our battery, we mark one of the wires with a piece of tape, pull on our wires inside, and see which one moved up. We then strip our positive. Now I take that battery positive cable and I hook that into the battery positive on the regulator. Then I'm going to do the same with the negative cable. Now we move outside, grab our cable that we'd marked positive, and we're just going to mark it at the very end of the cable. Now that all our wires are hooked up to the regulator, we're just going to put that into the hole. This is us drilling uh, outside compartment at the uh, fridge cover. We're just going through so we can run our wires down. We're going to take all our excess wire that comes from the regulator down through the fridge vent and we're going to run it all the way through down to the compartment below. Now we take off the furnace cover. This is to get access to that wire we just fed down from the fridge vent. Now we're feeding the wires down from the uh, furnace uh, compartment and we're moving them over in behind the converter. Now that we fed the cables in behind the converter it's time to take the converter breaker panel off. Once we pull the converter breaker panel out, we're going to locate where those wires we fed through behind were. And then we're going to pull them through. What we need to do now is locate where the positive and negative from the converter are going straight to our battery bank. Um, this is off the converter charger portion of the breaker panel. As we flip over the converter breaker panel, you can see where those white and black wires, which is the positive and negative charging wires going to your battery, come out the back of it. There's morettes there conveniently. The black cables coming on the back of the breaker panel are the positive, so we're going to take our cable that we marked with the red tape, being our positive, and hook that up to the black cable. Keep in mind that in a lot of applications, uh, you don't have to go to the converter charger. You could go straight to the batteries if you have enough cable. In this case, this trailer is very long and we could not get to the batteries in the front. Now we're going to strip uh, the negative cable and we're going to hook it up to the white cable coming out of the back of the breaker panel. And 
once we have this all hooked up, we're going to take a look at the regulator. Um, as soon as the regulator sees power, it gives you three dashes on it, and then it will display battery voltage. Now that the regulator is on, showing voltage, if we simply click the B button, it should change over to battery percentage. And then when we hit the B button again, we're going to get amount of current coming from the solar panel to the batteries. This point is zero because we're in the shop. With the GPPWM25, you need to set the battery type. You do this by holding down the B button, and it's going to bring up a single digit number, one, two, or three. It's saying three, so I'm going to just show you the different numbers. One is for wet cell, two is for AGM, three is for gel. I'm going to select one for wet cell batteries, which is what's in this trailer. Now your solar installation is complete, so we just need to clean up everything we uh, took apart to do the install. So put the converter cover on, put the furnace vent cover on, uh, clean up any uh, drilled holes we needed to make, add our die core to the fridge vent cover, put our fridge cover on, screw the fridge vent back on, Add our die core sealant, and that's it. These are all the tools we use for the job. Our template, our instruction manual, the die core sealant. We had a drill, our voltmeter, and electrical tape, wire cutters. Another drill and our air saw. And that's it for our installation video for the GoPower GPRV 125 solar kit.